let me get organized. Hi all wonderful people and welcome to the weird corner of the internet, my little corner. Today I'm going to talk about 5 handbags I own and 5 handbags I want. Oh, do I dare not be a handbag addict? Well, the too long didn't read answer for this is I can't afford it because I'll always prioritize ready to wear and shoes over handbags. Because in my very simple world, the outfit is made by the actual clothes and shoes um, and although handbags are fantastic and look absolutely stunning, I am not the one to sort of hoard them. I would much rather get a few that I will really frequent and get my money's worth. But the thing is, I'm just not obsessed. I'm just not into handbags that much. And it's okay, because there is always something I can spend my money on, right? I went into the depths of my fashion history and find four of the five invoices that I actually bought uh, the handbags with. This one was about four years ago when I got my first handbag. Let's start, let's start, let's, that's my trusted work bag. The of the great Gucci toe. Fun fact, technically this is a men's toad i think we love this bag in this household i got it in italy in firenze i could not bring myself to buy such thing online it's the sustainable collection it's made out of the recycled plastic the econel fabric and it was promoted by the most wonderful jane fonda and as soon as i saw her in the wonderful advertisement i was like i have to get that no matter what, look at the Gucci website, they're still supporting the Obdegree collections. They're saying the yellow is still in some stores. It's currently around £1,250 sterling. They're selling the black version online. One Gucci toad in, uh, and I absolutely adore the bag. I wear it every day to work. Do you know what? I just wear it. I just wear it all the time. I carry it everywhere and I love it. It's just my darling. So that's number one. Another handbag that I'm going to talk about is my actual, my literal first designer purchase. It was bought um, pre-loved. When I saw the handbag uh, on that website, I started setting up simultaneously somewhat manifesting into the universe that no one else wants the bag. And I'm realizing the longer I speak without saying what it is, the more ridiculous I sound. So it's it's this beauty, Valentino Garavani. What an icon, honestly. And I got the, the Valentino Glamlock in the black and white, um, the iconic Rockstar, obviously, with golden hardware. You see there's some um, color transfer. I've been meaning to paint it for the longest time now, but couldn't bring myself um, up to it. And some scratches seen, seen a lot. We've seen a lot together. It looks fantastic. You can obviously double chain, single chain. You can take it off um, and swap the chains for a different one i just absolutely love it number one it's an icon it's the rock stars i love it it looks like a tiny dinosaur and, and you know what's not to like about the tiny dinosaur number two black and white i love black and white combinations i'm obsessed that's it that's all you need to know you know all the reasons i needed um to buy this handbag opens like this it's just a one big compartment with two little pockets it's over here and in this zipper one it says this is a leather product take care of it which i am thank you very much all right tiny adorable letter in i love this bag not not only because it has huge sentimental value to me obviously but i genuinely love the bag i don't care whether it's it's no longer in style and that it's, it has been discontinued as a collection I just adore it. It's here to stay. It's the, it's the bigger version. They also have a smaller one and I'm planning to get the smaller one too one day. Thanks to Miss Chi. Thanks to Valentina for joining us on our adventure. Again, my first purchase, free loved, love it to death. Next up, Louis. This was an online purchase, but I really wanted it because oh, for reasons. Okay, so the price at that time was um, about 800 pounds sterling. All right, come on out. It's a Louis Vuitton double pochette. It's from the Escal collection. Escal? Escal? From that collection. Um, it's got chain. It's got two pockets. And it's kind of mimicking a wok. So it's got mini pockets for credit cards as well. One compartment, two compartment, bunch of tissues. One side features gigantic Louis Vuitton logo, the other side features the print uh, in the fun blue and white, um, in the, and features the print. 
and I kind of loved it. No, I just wanted something little from the collection. And I wear it tons like when you run into the car or you're just getting some drinks in, getting that hydration going in the summertime with friends. This is a fantastic bag for it. So, um, let's do some Fendi. I am a huge Fendi, Fendi fan. I love Fendi. I think I need a, we might need a Fendi episode. It's a limited edition handbag and we're going to talk about it a bit more. Come on out. Okay. It's a baguette. This, this absolute beauty is from the Lunar New Year collection, I believe 2020. It's the large baguette. It's fabric, it's not leather, the handles are leather. Um, I think, yes, I'm hiding the strap inside. A little internet magic. So you can wear it uh, in the crook of your elbow, your top handle. You can do crossbody if you feel like it, but it's kind of short. So you can do the assist right here. I love this bag. I absolutely adore the bag. Lunar New Year collections are usually red, reddish, bordeaux. I love that Fendi do this. The, the, the coloration is absolutely beautiful. I get complimented on this handbag so much. I was actually debating whether to get the smaller version and I am very happy that I got the large version because I am a very tall person and I carry a lot of things, okay? The only thing that is kind of like annoying me is that it's, it's kind of loud. But you know, you gotta suffer for passions. Um, right, invoice. It doesn't say. Well, Sylvia, you can keep my money. One of the many things that is very, very dear to me and very special to me about this handbag is that I've never seen it on anyone. I just love that it's from the Lunar Year collection. It's the colors are absolutely stunning and again i just love getting those small pieces i don't know it makes me it makes me feel a bit more special you know so thanks baguette for coming out for this very special feature you can go now and last but not least louis again this wasn't really planned but i was looking for a handbag this style for a while and it felt it felt really, really right when I was trying it on. I got this at um, Terminal 3, Heathrow Airport. It was just released as a new collection. It was purchased beginning of 2022. I love the bag. Featuring another chain. Is the easy pouch on strap in the epi leather, beige color. You could only find the armpron leather. Uh, but I specifically, I love that I got the epi leather because I think it's indestructible. It comes with the um, chain short strap or this longer adjustable um, fabric strap that is with the modern look that we see with Louis Vuitton uh, handbags a lot currently. So I'm kind of happy like if I ever get like an armor BB or something like that and it has the classic leather strap I can still always mix and match with this one. Obviously you get to wear it um, cross shoulder or you can wear it um, as a like an eveningy as an eveningy handbag. Sales associate in the store uh, tried to tell me that I can also like wear it like a clutch, but honestly, not really my vibe. And I'm almost always wearing this um, using this short um, chain. It's honestly super cute to me. Like I love this bag. It's so cute and it fits perfectly everything I need: phone, card holder, some tissues, lip balm. You know all those essentials. So this is the Louis Vuitton easy pouch on strap now i've checked the easy pouch on strap that's currently sold on the website in the Ampran leather and i think it doesn't come with the fabric strap i think it comes with like a thin leather strap i actually prefer this one a bit more because when you do wear it crossbody it gives you a bit more street style vibe it's not that serious and i think that even though it's a small bag when you want when you go ahead and decide to wear it crossbody you don't really go for that like superbly elegant look of the handbag and i think you know these these combinations of the straps is just perfect for me superbly happy with this purchase right forgot about this one easy pouch epi strap words okay 1220 pounds sterling well it's 2022 people you know what to do please like and subscribe all right those are the five handbags i actually own and now off to five handbags that i would like to get number one 
Dior medium cuddle bag. I'm already cheating. I would like it in a small version. I love the handbag that it's kind of like slouchy but it still holds its shape. It has the long chain that you can double. I absolutely adore the grey on grey gorgeous i just do not want it in the medium version because i tried it on and it's too big and i would really like the small version so that i can wear it as much as possible i would like to use it for a bit more casual wear when i'm when i'm wearing something that is perhaps street wear and, and i'm not go really going for that elegant look and i think that just the smaller version would fit me better the price tag is just heavy <laughs> and that's why i'm considering the fact that if i wear it to opt for that medium version i wouldn't be probably sporting it as much as i would like to for that price tag so hence me wanting the small one now there's a gorgeous small dior um, caro back in this bright green color i do have the shoes for it what is absolutely painful for me to say no to is the iridescent hardware obsessed i love that i really want that and in the combination uh, with the green color oh my goodness i want this so badly the price tag is a bit more convenient but <sighs> it's just so pretty it's just such a beautiful green number two dior again medium lady dior in ultra matte black i have seen this handbag two years ago in the store it's a it's an absolute staple to dior so i'm not really worried about it going out of style or being discontinued it's just gorgeous cross body or top handle it's just absolutely fantastic and i love the ultra mad it's i just do not have any other words for it but i love it, it has like a little cap it's not a fully open handbag and it has this totish vibe but it's small enough to be carried around like a little princess yet has the cross body straps so that i can you know do this when my hands are carrying two cups of coffee and a donut it's a price tag it's a Dior, uh, it's a medium lady Dior. The price tag is just normal. Uh, it's probably one of the many reasons why I don't have it yet. Number three, Fendi Mini Peekaboo. I once saw a uh, Mini Peekaboo in this gorgeous blue color in the store. My essay made me try it on with the crossbody, top handle, everything. I was just leaving the store with a big bag of stuff that I didn't really need. And that was, let's say, a year, year and a half ago. And I felt bad for just like buying another handbag because I didn't really need another handbag because it was still COVID in prime season. I had no place to go, especially now with a new handbag. So that stayed in store and I think that color is no longer available pre-loved for me or I just randomly run into it whenever I'm browsing Fendi stores. Number four, Louis Vuitton Capucines back. And I am specifically eyeing out the medium, the MN. I would like to wear it to work sometimes or something like that. I really like this. I really like this marine blue color. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know, there is, you're sensing a blue topic around here. Like it's elegant. It kind of looks like a Hermes Kelly. That's not for me whatsoever. You can hide the LV logo with the flap. You can carry top handle. You get a cute cross body strap if you like it. It's kind of spacious, but not really. It has its cons, but overall the pros are outweighing my cons. The biggest con is the price tag. Um, but that's for future Linda to sort out. I have tried it in the store once and it looked good. So I'm kind of thankful that it has this fat price tag because I just, I don't really need it. It would be really, really nice to have. Number five, Hermes Constance back. I am not on an Hermes journey. I do not own anything Hermes. I've been eyeing out some, some trainers and some shoes from Hermes, not even the Oran sandals. So I have no idea how I'm going to get about one of those because these are ridiculously pricey on the pre-loved market. Love the Constance bag. It's a gorgeous shape. It's just the right size for me to put my phone, tissues, card holder in, my lip balm. You can't leave your house without a lip balm. And off you go. It comes in beautiful colors and variety of material it's got a long strap you can double strap it and, and wear it on your shoulder i am just in love i am in love but again i have no idea how am i going to get one the gray one or the blue one or any other cute color people who are being offered the constance bags and not really wanting them could you please 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 get in touch i would greatly greatly appreciate that uh, all right, so those were the five bags I want. It's definitely a theme when I'm going into stores and I'm looking at new handbags. I have the five handbags that I have and I kind of don't need any more. I wear them all as much as I can. I will always prefer buying ready-to-wear or shoes and 
the handbags will be just like a nice treat for me. I do live vicariously my handbag dream through Amelia Rose's channel. Check out Amelia Rose's closet. She has a wonderful selection and I love her energy. She's an absolute diamond. She's a darling. Please go check her out. And whenever, whenever I feel like I do not have enough handbags, I go watch some of her videos and I feel like, yeah, I'm good. I'm just, thanks for bringing the heart rate up a bit for me, but I'm good with my five and I, I'm just gonna be cliche about this and be like, if it's meant to be, it'll be and that's so that's goodbye from me and goodbye to everybody till the next time bye